kidding. We'll do it again. Hi, fans. Hi. I'm Maddie. I'm Kristen. And this is the We Show Needles podcast. Yay. Yay. Episode 41. Crazy. And there are over 3,000 of you subscribed to us. Yay. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Crazy. Yes. And it's, like, almost 3,100 now. Like, they just... Like, keep on going. Uh, so they just keep coming every day. <laughs> So we knew when we filmed last time that we were like really close to 3,000. So we teased a 3,000 subscriber giveaway and it's time for that. It's time. We had some lovely friends of ours reach out after that video with prizes to donate. So we've got um, a package we have assembled. Um, we have a coupon code for everybody as just a thank you for subscribing. I'll put um, it on the bottom of the screen. This is from Andy the Nitrous who runs the Naughty Nitrous. It's an online yarn store, soon to be brick and mortar. Yes. So go she support does, her. She cranks too, right? She cranks. She has um, like pre-cranked uh, ball beanies yeah, and stuff, yeah. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think hers are called, they're not ball beanies. Ball, ball sacks. sacks. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Yarn balls, balls, balls. You know, the cozy. Yes. You know. There's a picture of one. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> but anyway, Andy sent a code. So if you use this code that's on the bottom of the screen, then you can get so much off of so much you buy. There you go. So Yay! Sweet. It Andy, was so nice. That is so it was so sweet. sweet. She said that people had um, gone to the store and like in their note when they checked out said that we sent them. And I was like, that's my favorite thing ever. Thank you I so much. I adore when you guys do that. I love getting messages from small business owners, like the yarny people telling us like, hey, I just got someone checked out and said you guys sent them over. Thank you so much. Like that's just my favorite. Like it's so nice. We want to enable you all the time. That's our favorite. So we have that for everybody. Then um, Georgianne, our lovely friend, I have her bag, one of her bags right here at the Stitching Plaza. We love you, Georgianne. You're the best. She is donating a bag for the 3K giveaway. She's going to ship that directly to the winner. Um, then we have a gift card from Kimber's Cozy Creation, our other sweet friend Kimber. Who did the Weezer Needle Sock Yes. <laughs> so the winner of the 3K giveaway will get a bag from Georgianne, a gift card that will probably be emailed to you from Kimber, and then a package of gifts from me or from us that are in my office at home that I will Yay. package up and send to you. <laughs> so you'll get several things to make up a whole package. So what do they need to do to enter? Um, so I think we decided that you're going to have to comment on this video. You have to be a subscriber. We're going to filter out anyone who's not a subscriber. But if you leave a comment with your favorite stupid thing that one of us has said over... Over the 41 episodes. Yeah, yeah. over the last 41 episodes. <laughs> Uh, if you guys could just do that, then you'll be entered to win. Yes. So any comment you leave about something funny we've said, if we draw the comment and like do the random generator and it's not a comment about something we've done, we'll draw another. So that does have to be in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> she's self-conscious today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys. It means the world to us. We love y'all. It was awesome. That was really nice. Um, I just, I love it. I love it. I love our little community. Okay. You guys are the best. So, should we jump into our show now? Yeah, that was, I mean, we're in the show. This, no, but I mean, like, show. that was like the admin. Also, you guys, today we're sitting outside of Maddie's office. While in we're my lobby. In the lobby of Maddie's office. And there's big windows where people are having their Sunday lunch outside mm -hmm. and staring at us so if no we're constantly right now. looking that way it's because we're a little embarrassed but also not at all yeah so. <laughs> but also like anyone who's local you could have watched us live if you had just been at serrano's mexican at the right time true you missed out true so. um <laughs> if we haven't said it yet this episode this is a knitting podcast yeah we Welcome. sure haven't said that <laughs> no i don't think we have i think we wait often right yeah. We're a knitting podcast. We are a best friend duo from Conway, Arkansas, which is central Arkansas, mm -hmm. middle of nowhere, Arkansas. It is not the middle. It's not the middle. There are worse places. This is, this is central Arkansas. This is the <laughs> hub of this and Fayetteville are the hubs of Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> um, but here we are. Yeah, it is Arkansas. Talking about our knitting and it's exclusively knitting for me today. How about you? All knitting. Um, so are we ready to jump right in? We're ready. You want to do FOs first? Yes, I only have one FO, but it's White Desert Misty Dyework Socks Yay! for August. Um, these are the Stranger Things Season 1 colorway from Desert Vista Dye Works. Um, these are using the, the vanilla is the new black heel. So that's what that guy is right there, which I liked more this time. I like it. Yeah. On self striping, it looks really cool. It does look really cool on striping. And I feel like the first time I did the vanilla is the new black heel, I was very confused the whole time. Like the way the pattern's written, it's one of those that's just, 
I don't know. It's not poorly written. It's just maybe over my head. <laughs> Let me do this really quick. That's I funny. hate it. <laughs> hate looking at the heel head on. But, um, so funny. But it was much more easy to wrap my head around after having done it once. It was very intuitive. I think I looked at the pattern for like the start and then to see like how many repeats I needed to do and then I was good. And then the heel turns just longer. I did these on 60 stitches. I did 20 rows of two by two rib. I believe I did a 60 row leg before the heel. I actually, I don't think I even counted rows in this one. I kind of just went until it looked right and made them match. So it's probably 60-ish rows on the leg. The foot's a lot shorter, but it's because the heel turns so long. It's a beautiful sock. And did you have to finagle it a little because you did 60 stitches? Did she write it for 60? She did write it for 60. Oh, good. The smallest size, there's not a 56 in her pattern. The smallest is a 60. And it's like 60, 64, 68, 72. So it's increments of four. But I really love them. Um, these are for me. And I'm They're really pretty. to wear them. Yeah. You did them on 64, 60 stitches on a one. Yes. Okay. I was correct. like, they feel so soft and pretty. Yes. When I do Lovely. 60, I do a US one. When I do 64, I do a zero. That's my new, my new thing. So yeah, those are done and I'm excited and I'm have, I don't know, like nine days till I cast on for September. So I need to pick out what I'm going to do for that month. I have loved the Desert Vista Dye Works knit along. Um, my mystery skein that, I, or no, not my mystery skein. My free skein for completing the first six months is being delivered tomorrow. So Yay. I got to pick out a colorway and she mailed it out the other day. I was just checking my shipping earlier. So it's been fine. I've gotten free yarn out of it. So I love that. Um, don't forget to post this one. Did you already post it? Already did. <laughs> yeah, that was like June or July. Um, the month ended and then I realized I never posted my socks that I had finished in like the first two weeks of the month. Then I messaged her and I was like, Susan, <laughs> can I please? I swear they were done. And she opened it up for me again because all the threads were closed. Like I missed it completely. It was, she was so nice to let me still enter it and I'll never do it again. <laughs> I hope you guys can't hear that sound, but if you can, I'm just going to wait it out. What is that? I think it's Mexican restaurant. It sounds like a generator or a drill. They do crazy stuff in that kitchen. Oh my gosh, Kimber's got the <laughs> Kimber. We last last week's episode was a little bit ins ins insane at the end, yeah. right? Drill it and fill it. Did you were the one receiving those messages, right? Kimber said she would do a drill it and fill it colorway. <laughs> I think I responded like, oh, God, no. Like, oh, no. Yeah. That was funny. Goodness gracious. Okay, my FL. Yes, you finished something. I finished three things, but yeah. this is one of them. This is a test knit from Grace May Design. I will link her down below. It's blocked, ends are weaved in. It's, it's nice. completely finished. It feels much yeah. better. It was feeling a little crunchy it before good. I washed it. So um, my mom hated that. She was like, stop calling it crunchy. It doesn't smell great. I used soak. I used the pineapple soak. It doesn't smell like pineapple. It doesn't it smell like, like anything. Old pineapple. <laughs> it smells dusty. I was yeah. like, that's not good. That's but really sad. it, um, yeah, because I used a, a tester soak. Yeah. The pineapple one that I got from the box. So at least I know I don't like that now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the pattern is a two skein shawl. It is light and small. Like, let me see if I can show you. I haven't taken FO pictures yet of it, but it's like. You're not really in the frame. I know, sorry. Hi. Well, you looked like you were striking a pose, and I was like, they can't see no, that. No, <laughs> I'm not striking a pose. I was just getting kind of ready. Yeah. But um, it's, I think I did final measurements. Um, it was like 20 this way and 72 okay. lengthwise. So it's like a long, thin shawl. It actually only used 100 grams total. I used, really? I used, I think it was like 68 and 32. So 68 of the orange and 32 of this um, variegated. So if you had- I could do it, it again in verse. It's the magpie fibers, isn't it? That come in like the 115 gram skeins. Um, and then you would have, you could do like a one color and have some extra. Mm -hmm. Cause those are like a heavy skein. Yeah. I like used exactly a hundred grams. Yeah. This is like I could just use a hundred grams. Um, and then this is an optional border too. So I actually don't know if it's optional. She hasn't finalized her pattern yet, so I'm not sure. This is the September mm -hmm. Grace, right? Did you, yes. did you say that already? And I'll link it down sure. below. I believe it's being released in September, hence why it's called September Grace. And it is in conjunction with a dyer, who I will also link below because I don't know it off the top of my yeah. head. But um, Grace is so sweet, and I think Kimber actually also tested this. She did, I saw that. So we were comparing notes, and it's really nice. Um, my mom was very confused. She was like, I don't understand. Where's the rest of the pink? 
And I was like, what do you mean the rest of the pink? And she's like, why is there just one stripe of it? She really likes this colorway. Yeah. And I was like, it's just, it's not symmetrical, mom. Like most knitting isn't symmetrical. Yeah. It's just not how Especially it is. Especially this And this like shape. me, she was like, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. it has to be symmetrical. So but it's funny. really pretty, I like it. <laughs> and it's Probably. light. And yeah, I think I'd wear it like a kind of one of these yeah. guys. You're gonna take this up to the store though, right? For a shop sample for a bit? If um, Lori wants it, yes, she can have it. Just for a little bit, for a while. For a little bit. But like, this is nice. This it is, is cute. It's a nice, like, light spring or summer shawl. It would be good under a jacket. Like, to Ugh. bundle up and then throw on a, a coat for a, a cool day in the fall or winter. But if I didn't say, it's fingering weight. I think I knit it on a six. I have all the notes in my Ravelry, which are Ravelries and Instagrams are linked below. If you ever have any questions, that's where everything is. Um, but these are two fingering weight sparkle base. Um, and I think it's her signature sparkle from Arkansas Yarn Co. This is Hot Tropics, the orange color, and then this one's Bahama Mama, which is the variegated pink and orange and white. And it's so pretty. I like it. It's very simple. It was actually pretty intuitive. I did have to rip out twice. I ripped out twice and I had to tink back several rows in lace. And it was not her fault. It was not the pattern being hard. It was Kristen not paying attention. Yeah, it happens. So, but I like it very pretty. What else did you finish? I finished two pairs of socks, which, you know, Go they off. took forever for my um, summer sock camp knitting. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting to drop everything. Yes, that's ending soon. I need to wrap up a couple yeah, pairs of socks. I haven't posted any of my pictures in a while. Watch me not have brought these stupid socks. Classic me. Okay, well, let me get my big old bag out. <laughs> socks, 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 socks. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so I finally finished my We Share Needle sock set. That's these guys. I did the little three five row stripes at the so top. Good. And then um, I was meant to do them like opposite, but I did them exactly the same because they're so cute. I can't help myself. Um, yeah, they, they're for me, I bet. Mm -hmm. I did them on a US one. Um, I used the Maddie colorway for the cuffs heels, toes, and like the little accent stripes. I think it came out really good. They were very good. I really like 64 them. 64 stitches? 64 stitches, just your vanilla sock pattern, the Never Better Socks, classic slip stitch heel. It looks really good. It does, these heels look good. Yeah. Those are beautiful. So those are my first pair of socks. And then my second pair of socks beautiful. are these Hypnotic Yarn. Boom uh, Fizzle Pop. Boom Fizzle Pop. It was a yarnable colorway from July of last year. Mm -hmm. And I really like them. They did start pooling funny here, but this one pulled perfectly. My second sock was almost perfect. And then just at the toe, but it's still, I still like it. That's just it's the really nature of hand dyed yarn. It is, it happens. These are really pretty. Yeah. Are these for you too? Um, I don't know. I just made them. I have so many socks at I this know. point. Me I don't too. even, I don't even need more socks, but um, they're about my size. They could fit someone between an eight and a 10. They could be for you or you could just Fold them pretty and put them in a drawer and then have a gift ready to go for that's someone. That's true, that's true. But they're all perfect, done. We did. I don't block my vanilla socks ever, so they've not been washed. They've not been worn either, so perfect, ready to go socks. I wash them before I send them off if I'm gonna gift them. But if they're for me, if and even that, even that, I take that back because if I'm gifting them to my immediate family, I don't wash them. I just hand them to them and they wear them. Um, beautiful. I feel like we don't have as many FOs as normal. You have a lot though. I don't. I don't have three. as many FOs as normal. Um, I didn't really get to knit a lot. Yeah. And neither did you. My wrist was hurting a lot this past two weeks. So I did not knit as much. I went on trips and I ended up volunteering to drive instead of ride. That way I would not knit so I could rest my wrist some. And it feels better now. Not wearing my brace today, which is good. Look at this. It was so do? bad. I have no idea, but it was way worse before. Oh, it's yeah. better now. Um, Yikes. Okay, should we jump into whips and hoes? Yeah, I have a hoe, which is obviously also a whip. Pardon me while I brush my hair. Can't help myself. It's been 15 minutes. <laughs> it has. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Let me put this guy on the sock locker. Get your hoe fit up. Look how cute it is. So this is a Magic Heel sock. Um, that's a pattern by the Autumn Acorn, who we love. We love this pattern. Um, these are, I used a US 1, 2.25 millimeter. I cast on 56 stitches. These are for my niece. Um, the yarn is the Cozy Knitter. It's a collab they did with the Grocery Girls, um, and it came with this mini. So I did 
56 stitches. I did 15 rows ish of two by two rib. And then um, this is another one where I don't think I counted. I just <laughs> knit and was like, let's do a heel. And then I did a heel for a while. And then I said, let's do a foot. And then that was it. And I'm just gonna make the second one match. So um, I guess I did count on the foot, but I'm trying to think what else I'm forgetting. I think that's all about them. It's what about cute. the gray? What's the gray? Is that the mini it's the from mini it? That came oh, from the set. cute. Yeah. So it's got like speckles of all the other colors in it. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> and then of course I've cast on yesterday while I was at um, helping my little brother move into school. I cast on the second one, and I just have. Oops, I'm tangled. I have the cuff, and I've literally attached and done half a row of the main colors. So. It needs some work. This is in my car knitting bag, and this literally sits in my passenger seat for me to knit in traffic. <laughs> That's from Barley Pearls? Yes, this is a Barley Pearls bag. I have mine too. I love this bag. Chris gifted this to me. She gifted one to each of us, which was so, so sweet. I think I showed this. We showed yes, this last, last time. time. But yeah, so that's my hoe. Half a sock. Hopefully <laughs> I finish that soon. Her birthday is mid-September, so I'm gonna intend for these to be a birthday gift. Nice. And finish them up. I'll finish these up by the end of summer sock camp is my real goal so I can enter them and then set them aside to gift to Annabelle. Yay, Annabelle! I think I'll have plenty left where I might be able to make a little little pair of socks for Emily too, my baby niece. So oh, like are cozy. Those yeah. are cozy colors. Those are your cozy colors. And Marietta, after Marietta has been um, hinting that she wants me to make her a bunch of cozies soon. Hint, hint. <laughs> hinting very clearly. She said, make me cozies. I'll give you yarn. <laughs> I like that. It's a good yes, trade. I love it. So that is your hoe? Yeah, that's my hoe and one of my whips. I have two other whips, but... I don't have any hoes. Nope. I do have what's in my same bag from that. It's not really cast on yet, but I wanted wow, to show yeah. you. So this is actually what I was carrying my shawl in when I was knitting it. And um, these are all the leftovers I have. So this is my contrast mm -hmm. color so much. And this is the... Uh, I wound it into a ball. Yeah. Um, the main color. color. I'm gonna do socks. I think I'm gonna do your um, string of heart socks. Mm. I've wanted to do a pattern sock for a while, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Fine. And I have definitely enough, because I have 62 grams left of this and 38 grams Plenty. left of this. So I'm gonna do just a cute, I feel like that'd be really cute. Be I don't know who they're gonna be for. Maybe Lori. Yeah. Cause Lori they're hers. her colors, yeah. yeah. They could be so her. Yeah. I've got my needles in there and my scale and my cute little pockets. I just love it. I love that bag. So that that's I haven't cast fun. on yet, but that's one going to be a cast on. I just realized that other than summer sock camp socks and they took me all summer, like three months long. I haven't been sock knitting recently. Yeah. So I started like thinking like, I kind of miss it. Then I think I don't have, I don't need socks. I know. That's why I'm playing. Like, <laughs> I, I had a bunch of birthdays in my family in like May, June, July. So I was like cranking out socks because I try and do a pair of socks for every birthday in my family or like a hat or something if they don't wear the socks much. Um, and then I finished up the last pair of gift socks like halfway through July and I haven't, I did, I cast on my Desiree to Dye Works because I had to and I cast on these socks to have in my car just to have but they've taken me forever because I just don't, I'm not being drawn to the sock knitting much. I don't know. I thought about casting on a pattern too or just a pattern know. sock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I have a couple um, patterns I'm writing that need I need to knit through and then do tester calls and stuff. So I could do that. I just, I don't know. My sock mojo is lacking right now, for sure. I feel like all my mojo is lacking, truly. Me too, honestly. I'm not knitting like I was. I'm, I mean, I still knit a lot. I know I knit a lot. Yeah. But um, not like every waking moment. And earlier, I was like just sitting and watching TV. I feel like we've kind of had the summertime sads a little bit. For sure. I mean, I just have the year-round sads. Yeah. I've got seasonal depression for all four seasons. So. <laughs> That's a fun, fun case of seasonal depression. Right? Yeah. I love that. Love that for us. Love it. Um, do you have more? I'm okay, though. You have more, right? I have, I have two whips. Okay. Yeah. I have another whip. It's a sock whip. It's in this mm -hmm. Oh Snap bag. Oh Snap. Yeah. It is. We love. I think it's actually a namaste but it's oh snap now and i started my sock star socks because you did your sock star socks from v oh they yeah they sent us um these fabrelia sock yes. star they're pre-caked um stunning yeah just little my dad says those are his favorite socks i've made for him he loves <laughs> the texture of them um i'm just dropping everything yeah. I meant to search that up and buy some more that i also need yeah, to message the... and thank them again little yeah. Thing. So, don't be noisy over by the microphone. Okay, click, hold on. Click. 
So I cast on one sock <laughs> and I cast on and did the cuff of the other sock. So I don't know if this is striping. Would you say that's striping? Yours is a little more gradient. Mine was pretty yeah. defined stripes. I don't know. Um, it doesn't, I think it did call itself a self striping yeah, it sock. Been. But it uh, started you from the center of the ball. So you're a meat and it caked them up. So you're supposed to be starting at the same spot. So nice. it looks like I am. I like that. Did you do that on purpose on your um, Vanilla's new black heel socks? Did you make them perfectly yes. match? Okay. okay. So with, I did with these because I didn't count rows. Um, normally I'm like half and half. These, when I got to the end of the toe, um, I was, I had to pull out a full repeat. Like I ended on the same color I started. So I had to pull out all these colors and set them aside to start at the same point. But I went ahead and did it just so I didn't have to count rows and make them. And I do love the look of an exact match. Yeah. That is satisfying. But this will do that without any yeah, effort. You don't have to pay attention yeah. To I think it's mm -hmm. cool. But um, I just decided, I just cast them on. I was like, okay, I'm just trying to work through some stuff. All of the stuff that's not in a place in my room. That's I have lots of stuff that's like lying out, lots of stuff in baskets. And I'm like, okay, I need to get through that stuff so I can organize a little better. Because everything else that I've put away is fine. It doesn't, you know, get in the way of my everyday life. But like all of this other stuff needs to go. So that's a lot. It is a lot. So I started knitting these socks. Um, maybe last night or the night before and nice. yeah, I just got through the cuff and I passed out with the sock in my hand. Are you going to so. do just your plain heel? Are you going to do magic heel? What you I think I want to do the vanilla's new black yeah. heel. I think it just looks so pretty it's and I haven't fun. done it in a long time. I think the last pair I did was for Jana and she really liked it. Yeah. And I don't have one for myself. I like the fit of it a lot too. It was fun to do. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I think that'll be oh, nice. That girl has a pretty dress. People um, are just a vibe out there today. Yeah, it's Sunday. People are In churches. the South, we dress up for church. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I'm sure we do everywhere. That's not exclusively Southern. <laughs> so that is my sock whip. A whip. A little yeah. tiny whip. I didn't bring a couple of my whips because they didn't get touched because I was working on getting yeah. that shawl finished. Yeah, I have. Um, I didn't bring my blanket because I haven't knit on it. I'm a little afraid of it because knitting on my blanket so much last time is what I think hurt my wrist hurt so bad. So I have to be more careful with that. But I did, um, <clears throat> excuse me, take a sip of water. Me too. It's not water, it's coffee. Um, this past Wednesday, today's Sunday. So this past Wednesday, I went to Memphis to the Orpheum to see To Kill a Mockingbird, which was phenomenal. And Tuesday night I realized I didn't have any knitting because um, I didn't have to drive there. So I knew my um, dad and brother were gonna drive there. So I had like two and a half hours in the car <laughs> and then I had the whole show at the Orpheum. And then I did drive home because it was late and they were all tired. So I have a lot of the muscle work done. Um, this yarn is one I purchased at Mockingbird Moon. What um, bag is that? Ages ago. This is a Georgian bag. This is my Broadway bag for Georgian. <laughs> of course, because I was not at Orpheum. Um, it's got like playbills on it and I love it. It's so good. The yarn is Speckled Fit Studios in the colorway Mother of Dragons. Um, I literally just dug through my stash looking for something that was 100% merino and grabbed it. And that's what this is. Because I was like, I know I still have like two or three lone skeins that can't be socks. So those are muscle berry skeins. So Tuesday night I cast on. I did all my increases. And then I knit um, from here to here on Wednesday. That's so much. <laughs> in one day. But it's still like, I think a bit left. I don't know, this little yarn cozy is from Cookie and Bees. Um, it says Knitterino on it. I love it. I think I got you one of these too, didn't mm -hmm. I? I? Love these. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think if there's anything fancy. I'm doing the adult medium using fingering weight yarn. I get seven stitches an inch um with a 2.5 a us 2.5 needle so that's kind of how my formula worked out and um yeah i'm just gonna knit until i have eight grams left of this because the increases took six and a half so i'm giving myself a little cushion gonna knit until i have eight grams left of this and then decrease um what pin or cast on did you use i just cast on eight and then yeah. stitched it up i'll show you that's what i did too um we heard Chevy Girl talk about that Chevis one time, and I have not done the pinhole since then. You can't tell. I just cast on eight, joined them in the round, start knitting, and then Once when I got through bit, the increases, yeah. then I just went back and like took my tail and wove it through those cast on stitches and pulled it tight. You can't tell at all. So, also I did knit front and back instead of make one increases. Mm -hmm. So, 
that's kind of my normal too. I think this I put is that so funny. Page. I just want to, I just want to say that we're twins. What did you do? Georgian bag. <laughs> right? I think I got this at the same time you got yep. yours. I got a Georgian bag. With I a have bag. a muscle bag. I did use a US3 online. Yeah. We're, I just started mine and I'm using the uh, We Should Needle Sock Set colorway Whip It Out. I love it. Um, and I just threw the increases, or I'm just starting the increases still. But I did the same thing. I cast on eight, and then I'm gonna sew it up when I get a little bit finished. But this is what it looks like right back, now. I'm doing knit front <laughs> and back. I did the Lindsay hack where instead of doing it like knit one, knit front and back, and then uh, at the end you do knit front and back, knit one, I did knit front and back, knit two, because it puts, it makes it look more like the original pattern. So interesting. Yeah, okay. it just kind of gives the spacing correct for the increases um, because now you have three in the middle versus four in the middle. Okay. And so yeah, it doesn't matter. It does. It still creates the same shape. But yeah, she told me that one time, and I was like, "Yours Clever. is more symmetrical than mine. We're gonna oh, have a problem." <laughs> right. Exactly. That's so funny. mine has just started, but I thought that was so funny. I have a Georgian bag. I did up my needle size, but normally I do a 2.5. That's normal for us though, because yeah. I'm a much looser knitter, so I typically use a smaller needle. So. But I usually do my muscle bergs on a 2.5, but I decided to do a three because I couldn't find my, my two and a half needles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably have a muscle berg somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> I um, thought that was funny. This, funny. This will just go in a basket to be gifted to someone at some point. Oh, I feel it's like- It's so pretty. It is. Um, I, it'll probably go to one of my sister-in-laws. I don't know. I'll see my family at Christmas. We draw names for Christmas presents. Um, so everybody like buys for one person. So if I get a sister-in-law, I think I'll all three of them would like this. So yeah. I think it'll be a part of a Christmas basket for sure. And I would make some socks. I have solids that are similar colors. I could make some socks that coordinate, not match. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then I just have a sweater. I also the sweater but not really i love top. this bag this is one of my mom's bags and uh, my mom is kelly e mcd on instagram um we've talked about her a bunch i won't go on and on but she still has this fabric so we can have matching bags <laughs> and this is her medium size i love it i cast on my diaphanous raglan um after the last podcast i think mm -hmm. um before i went to dallas not this past weekend but the one before that with my sister-in-law yo-yo and i cast this on like a couple nights before we left so i would have the sweater to knit on this is using suburban stitcher in the colorway boardwalk in the sled base and the fluff base which is a mohair silk and then this is um merino nylon is it nylon i don't know if there's nylon in the sled i don't know either i really don't understand slub at all but it's so pretty it looks like ramen noodles it is pretty um okay so that's the yarn i'm using i'm doing the diaphanous raglan by jesse may um i have made it through all of the increasing for like the raglan and i've done i put everything on hold after that and i'm doing the sleeves first excuse me i can't remember i think it was nikki of Nick Nick knits that gave me that idea first like last year that she did sleeves first mm -hmm. and honestly i don't know why it's so revolutionary but it is <laughs> um so this is my it's so cool yo there okay. and then i have a whole sleeve Beautiful done sleeve and an i'm doing sleeve. yes i'm doing the bishop sleeve um in the pattern and none of the needle sizes i'm doing match the pattern at all honestly it's kind of random because the pattern <laughs> calls for like a four seven and nine i think and i'm using like a six and an eight <laughs> like i don't know but i got gauged mostly as much as i cared about the sleeves are so good so the sleeves are just mohair held single and the body is the mohair and slip held together so these are see-through uh, but it's gonna be so pretty and i want to finish this sleeve really really soon and get this going in the round because i feel like i'm gonna wear the heck out of this in the fall like it's it's all like weird and twisty in the yeah, right now. Yeah, like what's happening? It it's just because it's so confusing and there's like only one row stabilizing it right yeah. there. Yeah. So I'll untwist it when I join. That's crazy. This is so cool. I just dropped the mohair. Oh, it's good. It's so good. I love it. So um, yeah, I can't remember much. I'm doing. I can't remember what size. I'm a 44 inch bust, and I think I'm doing like a. 50 inch, 50 or 52. That's kind of a, the ease I usually like because I want it a little oversized for like a sweatshirt vibe. That's what I typically wear, obviously. 
Um, and then I'm doing the arms on 12 inch cirques and the body on a regular, like a 32 inch cable. It's or so pretty. That's on my list for next yes, year. It's so good. I wanted another, honestly, already. This part was confusing, the arms. But she had, um, Jesse had videos and stuff on it, which were really, really helpful. And I love it. And it's been really motivating. And I want to work on it more now. But I will eventually. Yeah, and that's my last whip that actually got any progress. I have I a couple know. things lingering. I have a couple things at home too. But I have my um, nettle tea in here because once I got the my six size six needles back from the shawl, the September Grace shawl, I could use them on this. I have another pair of six inch or, or six size six needles somewhere. I just don't know where they are and I need to, Mystery I need project. them for my frame, you know? I'm like, where's yeah. my frame? So last time I had the front and the back and they were not joined and now they are joined. And guess what? This is, okay, so this is a metal tee by Sheila Toy Stromberg. I'll link it down below. It's really cute. I'll put a picture on the screen so you know what it looks like because I'm a mess. Um, but I did join it just, just a little bit. And I've got my counts all correct again, and it fits. So I <gasps> can actually join the neckline and everything. I had my mom help me with it. It was so funny. I was like, mom, I'm not wearing any pants or a shirt. I am naked, in fact, in my room. Will you please come here? And she was like, why? And I was like, please. So she came and she was like, what are you doing? And I had this like, just kind of draped all over me. And I was like, I need help. I just need to make sure that, um, it can, my shoulders will touch, you know, I want yeah. them to touch without like touching my neck and being too close to my neck. Um, she's like, well, lay it where it's supposed to lie on your body. And I did. And then she like cinched it up and I was like, Oh, I think I need like another couple inches. Then she just pulled up the back a little bit and it still didn't touch my armpits. And she's like, yeah. I think this is fine. And I was like, it's fine. It works. It was like, Yay! I was so happy. I was like jumping up and down half naked with my mom. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Yeah. But yay! So I joined it. I did like four or five rounds on the sides and it's got all of these ends. I still have to pick up the neckline and finish that. And then I'm just knitting vanilla, knitting vanilla for a long time. Yay! I yay. love vanilla knitting. That's your favorite. That's not, not yours. But it's okay. I think mm -hmm. I do have to get an extra ball. This is Bamboo Pop in the color denim. I think I'm gonna have to get a fourth ball. I have yeah. three currently, um, but I'm gonna wait it out. Until you I get to it. To, yeah. yeah, I don't want to have to buy one and, and then you have an order extra. it from Lori and it would get exactly. to you in a day or two. Like. Exactly. So, yay, it's going to fit. And this is on my Make Nine. And once I finish this, I'll only have four left. And I've already cast on, wait, four or three? No, four. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, actually. I've got the What's on my fall favorites. I've got my mom's Uchi sweater, which I swatched for, and Fall Favorites is cast on. I bought yarn for my Shifty. I think that's it. I think this is my sixth one then. I have three left. I have, yeah. on my Make Nine, my Diaphanous Rag one's on there, and then the Illuminate by Andrea Mowry, and then the other two are like no-brainers. It's to finish the Stephen West Imcal in October, and the Desert is to Die Works Make Along. So the only thing I really have to cast on right now is the Illuminate, which I'm going to wait till after I finish the Diaphanous. Because even if I don't cast on the Illuminate till after the MCAL, like I would cast on the Illuminate in November and have two months to finish it. And I could do that. Um, yeah, so that's my make nine. That's yeah, exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. So I, yeah, <clears throat> I'm excited to get that finished. I really mm -hmm. was hoping to have it finished. So I could wear it in August, but we've only got like two weeks left of August. Yeah, if you September will still be warm. It. Yeah, it will. You'll still get way out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. September yeah. for us is definitely like cooler mornings and cooler nights, but mm -hmm. it's still hot during the day. It's already mm -hmm. started that here. I mean, we had a little bit of rain the last couple yes. days. So. It was seventy-two when I got up and walked Max this morning. It was yeah. awesome. It okay. was it was pretty cool when I left my house. So it was rainy, like, so yeah. I put on a sweatshirt, even though it's not that cold. But I'm <laughs> pretending because I wanted to wear a sweatshirt today. Yeah. So other than that's that, that's all I brought for knitting. I have my, my fall favorite sweater, which is the Megan Reagan mm -hmm. um, color work yeah. sweater. I did not make any progress on it. Um, I didn't even touch it. My mom's Uchi cardigan, which is just swatched for, and I have not even thought of anything else. In fact, I don't even remember what needle size I swatched on. I'm pretty sure I used a, a needle size down. Oh, so I'm like, no. that's great. Um, I thought I'd put the needles in the bag with it. I didn't. Um, maybe it's says sixes. Maybe you use those for everything. Mm -mm. It, yeah, was for it was definitely more like a four, um, mm -hmm. but I don't know. And then um, now I got stuff for my my shifty. Yes. I'm so excited. I just want to have it all on the needles. 
and ready to go. Yes, I have the yarn purchased for my Illuminate too. It's actually all stash. Um, I have a sweater quantity of a Malabrigo. I can't remember the color white. It's like a, a blue and gray, like a tealy blue and gray. And then I have graphite on mohair from Lori um, from Arkansas Yarn Co. That's my contrast color. So I'm excited for that too. I did. I have yarn for that too. So ex when does Stephen West usually put out, start putting October. out information? Okay. I know it's usually in October, but I feel like he gives us like September information on what's by mid-September. Yeah. So like early September. I'm really, really hoping I can stash dive for the majority of it i hope it's not like you know how the starflake was like you need two, two and two of two colors yeah like that i will have to purchase but even then i could like purchase a second skein to complement but i would love it if it were like five coordinating colors or five contrasting colors i would have that probably i think that someone on instagram i think it was mama of yarn mm -hmm. um she did the starflake with different yeah. yarns and yeah, hers was like rainbow it was so pretty that would definitely be doable but yeah you would just i do that all do, the time yeah you patterns. adjust all the time yeah um i didn't for my stuff god i love my stuff like i haven't worn that in forever mm -hmm. um i'm just really excited for that pattern i love even though the shawls are crazy and i that, never finished on time i finished on time last year that was i was so proud <laughs> um it was the first time i have and i don't know if i would this year yeah because it was a smaller one too last year yeah the ugly arm. was just so challenging and like yeah in a good way like i feel like i always learn a new technique and even if i love it or hate it like it's still like a work of art it pretty. is truly all of his stuff is i don't person, feel that way about all my knitting so <laughs> my, like my muscle brogues are not art not at all, no, no, but like some functional. sweaters, this sweater art, like the, the I'm sorry, <laughs> you know that like sweater thing that like holds up your top, oh, it's just gosh, coming yeah. out, okay, we're good, love it, yes, so that's what I'm knitting, I have some stuff I bought, but, I did buy some stuff too, yeah, yeah, I didn't get to go on a yarn crawl, but I did I buy some stuff, I, a very small I think I bought crawl. more than you, probably, definitely, that's all I bought, <laughs> Uh, two skeins. <laughs> it was not that intense. I went to Dallas with my sister in law. I already said that. And we went to McKinney Knittery, West Seventh Bowl, and Juju Knits. Um, at Juju, I didn't get yarn. Um, but at McKinney Knittery, I got this skein of Sweet Georgian yarn on the Tough Love Sock Base in the color Out of the Woods, which is stunning. That's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. And then at um, <gasps> West so 7, I got a skein of mustache yarn in the colorway Yellow Submarine. Okay, a vibe. Yeah. This you is you had a vibe. That's striping though, right? Yes, this is stripey. It's pretty. And I like mustache a lot. So um, yeah, that's all the yarn I bought though. We did receive something in the mail, which I don't know if you knew was, oh shit, there's another thing. Hold on. We have more stuff in there. I'll get it in a second. Okay. Um, Ash from Ash from Vessel Stitch Co. gifted each of us a stitch marker advent. Mine's in my office, but this is your stitch marker advent from Ash. Oh my god! So I think this is the Christmas Day present, and that's. Are you serious? Yes, she. The whole the, the whole advent for every day of. December. I was like, did I buy it? Oh this shit! Year? <laughs> I don't even know I don't if I did. So. I did just order. She from would her. have known, but. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. She We're not opening that right now, are we? No, okay. no, mine's in my office. <gasps> oh my um, gosh. I just brought yours and just wanted to thank Ash. They are the pre-orders for her stitch marker advents are on sale through the last day of August. So you just have another week. For her advents, you get to open a stitch marker every single day, and there's They're some extra so goodies cute. in there. They're all like Christmassy or holiday themed, um, yeah. winter themed, whatever. But it's a little stitch marker for every single that day. That is so cute, and it's packaged so cute. It's so cute. So I think because I didn't purchase oh an advent gosh. this year, so I have an advent sock and I have this, um, but I don't have like a full mini skate advent. I think my goal is going to be to knit on my scrappy blanket every day during uh -huh. advent season, and then I can like put in my marker every day. That's so cute. Yeah, to mark. And then at the end, I'll have like all 24 days. I can't believe that's so nice. So generous of Ash. It was so sweet. They showed up the other day and I was like, I'm not going to tell her. I'm just going to surprise her. Because I wasn't sure if he's... I, I did think it. Ash just messaged me. I don't think she had uh, messaged the page. Oh my gosh. So that's so thank cute. you so thank much, you friend. So much. You guys go check out Vessel Holy Stitch Co. Oh, her on the Instagram. Yes, her stitch markers are like almost always in our giveaways. She's so kind to our podcast and so generous. And she and, is a good stitch marker. And we love her. And I'm going to go get some other stuff we bought yeah. while you talk. Or you can wait. I was like, talk by myself? You're not know. here. Hello. Okay. The one I have for you. Mine's already at home. Um, Mandy at Mad Cow Designs sent us these little bookshelf <gasps> books. So cute. So that's yours. Is it like a bullet journal book thing? Yes, but it's just for books. Is it not so oh, cute? Wish list? That's so cute. So okay. she sells these. Yes. She has an Etsy, right? Yes. Um, and it's like Mad Cow Designs, we can link it. 
So this is, she sent one for each of us because we talk about our reading every week and so we could track it in these. I love that. So cute. It's like a little section for thoughts, a rating, a start and finish date. This is so cute. Mm. Oh my I, goodness. I'm so sorry, Mandy. I suck. I've had these for a long time and they've been sitting on the bookshelf at my office and we haven't filmed here and I keep forgetting <laughs> to bring them home. But I think she just released a pattern, a free pattern yeah, too. Cool. I just saw that. I think I'll link it below if, if it is available. Um, but she did like a little, like a kind of, I think a stripey sock pattern. It's really cute. Um, really cute. But thank you so much. That's so nice. So, so sweet. Okay. I have to look up the Instagram of this other one. We're back. Okay. <laughs> two other things people sent us over the last two weeks. One of them is from um, a sweet friend of ours, Emily, Emily Wood of the Knit 2 Cultivate 2 podcast. Link below. She reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and said she was playing around with dyeing some yarn just for fun. She doesn't sell it. Um, she said it was really just to build community and wanted to send us some to share with you guys. So, oh, she did tell me what kind, what her base was. Let me go back to that message real quick. Do, 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 do. Each mini is a third of 100, 100 grams, so 2.66 skeins total. Um, oh, Knit Picks Felici oh, Worsted. Oh, it's worsted. It's worsted. Okay. It's Knit Picks Bear. It's all worsted. So some of them go really well together. Mm -hmm. They could be um, these so too. many little things. Like this looks like a little... And then this goes in there too. Like a really good little hat. I love it. That's so cute. These are so sweet. These are going to go on a giveaway for sure. I think at the end of the summer, I think we said Labor Day, we were going to wrap up the mm -hmm. um, We Share Needles kit make-along. Mm -hmm. And I think both of these two will be prizes for that make along. These are cute. I think these two little sets can be Jesus. two prizes. So thank you, Emily. <laughs> this is so sweet. She also just sent us a really sweet message um, about some of the stuff we talked about lately, the Roe v. Wade conversation and all yeah. that stuff. And we just, we, it means the world to us it when you guys is. share your stories. It's moving and heartbreaking and heartwarming all at the same time and we just love you guys and love that we are able to build our community full of people like you guys it's amazing so thank you emily you guys check out her podcast she's great the other one is our sweet friend um who is another like i feel like we have a handful of people who are just like non-stop supporting us and it means so much and jj of jessel and janice is one of those people so she messaged me a couple of weeks ago and asked if she could send us more bags. And I said, you are incredibly generous. Yes, we will give them away. But then I How saw cute. them and I was like, I don't know if Kristen will give them away. <laughs> They're and all cute. She They're of all cute. included a note saying we could keep what we want, but some of these will be Oh one. my gosh, this one's so cute. It's peace and it's the sign language. Ugh. Love, unity with the sign language hands. So cute. So I'll have her card in here. I like this shape too. This is a different shape yeah, I feel like for handle. her. And I wanted to remind you guys, Jessalyn, let me pull up her message real quick so I make sure I get everything right. Um, what her shop supports. So it's Kayakota Humane Society. Yes. She said, portion of each sale from our Etsy stores donated to Kayakota Humane Society in Indiana, Indianola, Iowa. Um, Kayakota is a no-kill nonprofit animal shelter in her town. And she said they just go above and beyond. Um, she also gave us a coupon code that is valid now through November 9th. And it's Besties15 for 15% off your order. She said we could use it too. It was very sweet. That's really um, cute. So Besties, I-E-S, 15, now through November 9th to get 15% off. And know that you're supporting a really good cause and someone who just really supports us. These are so and cute. And by supporting us, you know, they support the values we support because people would not support us if they didn't. <laughs> so you can feel good about where your, where your dollars are going. I think these are so sweet. I love these bags. They're so cute. Oh, they're good. She has a sweet little daughter that sometimes watches us too. Yeah. And we say, stop that. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> They're so fun though. This one reminds me of Shadis. I don't, it just it's so cute. has her vibe, like her stuff room vibe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's got like, is that a baby rattle though? It looks a like it, like a crocheted rattle. It's I like it. It's just all the different crafts. There's, um, in, there's weaving, yeah. there's embroidery, there's knitting, crochet. I love it. It's really cute. These are cute. phenomenal. So these, um, again, just like the yarn from Emily, we're going to save for the, in September, we'll do a giveaway at the end of the We Should Needle sock set make along. That's the sock set we did with Kimber's Cozy Creation that had the colorway whip it out and the colorway movie knitting. I think Anything. I'm going to keep this one. I don't know. I it. like Absolutely. them all. Absolutely keep one. I think she sent three intending for us each to keep one, one and, and a half one away. Oh, but they're so good. So sweet. Yeah. 
That's so sweet. Here's I love ooh, it. dropping them. Here you go. I love Here's it. Here's her label. So you see it. And I saw that she's been supporting um you know, the ready. Also yes, I love them. Yes. She's so sweet. So yeah, we will decide. I, I absolutely think you should keep this one. Is that the one you were thinking about? I don't know, because I like the bottom. I like the I love the whole vibe, it's but I also you. really like the the brown one. Yeah, I love this one. Mm -hmm. I love it a lot. I think I'll feed through, um, I might even get an eye cord and feed through a little cord here. So this is also like a cinch because it has the handle, but um, that would be super easy to feed something through and have it cinch. Cute, cute. I love that this is sign language and just, they're so good. So keep an eye out. We'll talk more about the end of that make along soon. Um, but anything you knit, crochet, create using the We Share Needles colorways from Kimber's Cozy Creations, and um, post it on Ravelry, mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. Yeah. Hey. Oh, <laughs> not, not it. I was just gonna stick it off in like, the bag. Oh, rude. My bad. Um, okay, so I actually have another gift from Jana. It's Ooh. actually one of your mom's bags. So fun. Jana got me and her these because I had commented on Instagram saying that that was so Jana. Yeah. An avocado and it's Christmas themed, and I thought it was so cute. And then Jana was just like, here, I bought them for us. And I was like, we are twins. It's so cute. And it's got like a really pretty like red and green on the inside. And it's your mom's bag. So it's obviously good. It's not a quilted one. It's just regular. Yeah. But um, love it. Thank you, Kelly and Jana. That's so sweet. sweet. That one's a really fun one. And then what else you got? Bring the bag back out. The big old bag. OK, so I got my uh, Wooly Mama Yarn Co. August. Mm. It's so like hit or miss whether I get it in the month or not. Yeah. The last time I got July at the beginning of this month in August. So you got two this month. Yeah, this Ooh. is the August colorway. It is like speckly and interesting. It's got a lot more yellow than I like, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I thought it was funny. I think that she's running out of inspiration, and this happened with her minis as well. Mm -hmm. um, she used to do a mini, like a five mini, like kind of grab bag thing yeah. every month. But this is the June colorway. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I was like, they're very close. They're Those very, the very color. close. Um, there's obviously a lot more like like lime greeny type colors in this one. Um, That's the same colorway. Yeah. And so I think that this one will be the first to go next year. Like she usually will um, start a new monthly club yeah. the next year. Um, and I think that Strictly Neon is going to be out of there. And so I'm like, at least I'll have this year's set. You could knit a two color project <laughs> of that or like a two skin. Those are the same color. Yeah. So this is August. This is June. What do you think? Is that the same color? I don't like that. If I'm looking for a <laughs> surprise box, I don't want a repeat colorway. Yeah. I mean, it's really close. It's definitely not the same exact. This one's more green and blue. This one has a lot of like pink and pastel. Those are too close to be two months apart in a subscription service. Truly. Um, I don't like that. But I They're love beautiful her stuff. yarn, but I love her stuff. That's a bummer. I would never stop doing it because of this, but I feel like her inspiration was low. Yeah, like she's having a rough yeah. time. So, and I know that that'll be like next year. There will not be a strictly neon yarn club. Yeah, that's she'll fair. do something else. Um, because like, what can you do if you have like there are colors so that you dye ones. with? Yeah. I mean, I was shocked when I got the June one because it had black in it, and I was like, she's not. She doesn't dye with black and gray and brown. Mm -hmm. Like that's just not her style. Um, and then I was like, wow, that's so cool. And then it I got this really one, cool. and I was like, hmm. Looking a little familiar. She liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing I got was the, what is that? Zobber ball. Yeah, my zobber balls for my um, my shifty by Andrew Mowry. So I got these. Hold these for me, please. That's going to be my main color. I've got four of them, I think. Where's the other one? Right? So that's my main. Would look good, right? Stunning. What did you put with it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, so this one still look good, right? Yeah. Interesting, right? I was like, okay, cool. Okay. You're going to have to add to my stack. Okay. Like, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Keep them coming. That's it. Oh. That's the sweater. That's all you need. This is the sweater. That's the sweater. This is difficult to hold. I think that it's going to be fine. But I also think that it's going to be kind of ugly. And that's okay. I got it from Webs. I've never ordered from there before. I literally was going through all project pages trying to figure out if I could do it from Stash, trying to figure out like what I wanted to do. And I literally could not figure anything out. I had to do a Zauber ball or um, the other one that I think it's written for 
that really expensive yarn yes. spin cycle. And I was like, okay, it's, it's that or that. I'm gonna have a really expensive sweater or not. And I think this was total like $90. It was not that expensive. Okay. Um, For how many balls? Seven balls of yarn, 90, 90 bucks. That's not bad. I have a skein that's like purples, light purple and dark purple. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to look at it with it, because it's maybe. just sitting in my stash. I'm thinking like maybe, I'm thinking this is gonna be fun for me. This will, yeah. I might take this one out and do purples, but I don't that know. That was my thought. I don't like know. Maybe because then these three would all kind of vibe this together. This is kind of like my little outlier, but I really liked it. I love it. So yeah. the thing is, I was going for it was gonna be like more of a jewel tone, and I was gonna get a red one and a blue one. But the red one and the blue one looked too similar to this, and mm -hmm. I wanted them to be different. So yeah. then I just ended up getting these are oh, not gonna sorry. go together. But they're, it's fine because they're all going to play together and it's like crazy. It is. I mean, it's intended to it'll it'll be fine. really cool. It's fine, right? It will. I think it'll I'll be okay. I'll give you that purple feet of glance okay. just so you can have some options. But um, I think that that was all I got this time around. Yeah, that's all? I mean, it was kind of a lot, right? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. Got a whole advent. But now a I'm whole advent I'm gift done. I don't have to buy any more yarn for my Make 9 this year. That's really exciting. I'm done. I, I don't know if I have to buy anymore. I need to know what Steven's up to. Steven. Steven. Release it. Watch it come out next week, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I really hope I can get it all from stash. I think you can. I have such, I a, I, a, I have such a, a variety in my stash mm -hmm. right now. I don't have as many solids. Um, you're better at that than I am right now. Right now. I've been intentional. I've been thinking about it. But um, I've got a couple solids. I think I could manage it. It's just, if anything requires the duplicate skein, then I only have like two colors I could use. And that really limits me. I don't know. We shall see. And mm -hmm. when is it? What was I about to say? October, I'm doing a lot of traveling too. Mm -hmm. And that's the month of the knit along. So I'm hoping it's like doable because I have two weddings to go to in October. Um, we'll see. I really want to finish it on time. Mm -hmm. I'm about to sneeze. Bless <laughs> you. Okay. Hi friends. Hi. It's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> we, we got a package and we're gonna include this so here we go yay this is from oh i saw it it's good okay what is it um it's yarn <clears throat> we got this is from three stitches short and she sent us this as a present so <gasps> that's so pretty i think these are her by pride colors for sure that <gasps> she dyed oh my gosh stop that's so pretty okay there's there's more stuff in here but i'm gonna look the note <clears throat> for her birthday that's so nice what the heck? Thank you, May. May is from Three Stitches Too Short. Links below. <laughs> so it's the sampling of her products and she hopes we enjoy. I think you can figure out whose is whose. <laughs> <laughs> she included project, project bags, bags wool, wool condoms, condoms. Uh, counter sets, a handmade counter sets, small stitch please cords, similar to barber cords, but thicker and more durable, 250 gram sets, and a code. So for 10% off, um, go to three, the number three, stitchesshort.com and use the code share needles for 10% off. That's so cute. So this is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these are by pride. Some of them. Okay, so we each get, obviously that, that's obvious. Those are yours. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we're gonna cute. have to put pictures in. Yeah. That's so cute. Okay, more stuff. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. There's that. Oh, these are so cute. Perfect counting. I got it. Oh. It gives you a stitch marker. I'm going to put pictures. Oh, that's, that's blue. This is pink. This is for you. Okay, switch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll that's take pictures. So we just wanted you to experience this with us. Is there okay. a cat on here? Oh my gosh. It's an owl. It's so cute. She really went so. in on the blue and pink. They're so cute. Like we're Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> green and I pink. Know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. That's so, oh my gosh. This is so much. Stop it. That is so cute. Crying, screaming, throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute too. I really like the Halloween one, friend. It's all you. I was going to let you pick. Oh, oh my gosh. May, this is so That's sweet. That's so sweet. Did she make these too? Did, Multi talented. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. My hands are full. This is adorable. So sweet. So we've got a self striping skein, a like standard contrast skein. Is it striping or is it variegated? Is it? It looks striping to me, but maybe it's just very. I don't know. It's very pretty. It's two fifties. They're really so it. pretty. <laughs> it's purple and pink and blue. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna post pictures in there too so you can see them. Boom, boom, boom. I'm so gonna pretty. Go, I'm gonna go crash. <clears throat> That's so nice. Thank, Thank you so you, much. May. Thank you. Whew. I think I'm keeping this bag and I'm gonna give this bag away. I really want this one. Yeah. I might give it away if I'm feeling very generous. <laughs> but also, I want it. It's really cute. I like it a lot too. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Yeah. Um. So. Anything else? I feel like we've been kind of boring this time. I know, it's only been an hour. Less than that, because I have to cut out a big chunk when you walked away. Yeah, and, and then I was like scrolling mm -hmm. through my phone trying to find stuff. Um, Let's talk about life for a little bit. Sure. That's all our nitty stuff. So if you're only interested in well, nitty no, stuff. Well, no, I still have other oh. nitty stuff. Oh, okay. a little bit. Um, Lindsay invited me to DFW Fiber Fest yeah. in September. I think I might go. Yeah. Um, because it's just Dallas, and I was like, and she'll eat Korean food with me, mm -hmm. so I can go have my Korean food fix. That would be fun. You got your Korean I food. I did. Fix. It was delicious. And then, um, uh, Ryan back. Me and my mom have looked at stuff. I think we've got a plan. I'm only going to yeah. be there one day. Okay. I'll probably be there Saturday. I think there's going to be three or four people that said that they would like be with me because my mom's not going to go to the festival. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm not going to that. That's outside and walking. No, because my mom, okay. my mom yeah. has cancer in her bones yeah, and we're fair. already planning to go to Niagara Falls. So that's like enough. Mm -hmm. She's done. She's like, after Niagara Falls, I'm going to be chilling in a hotel room. I'm going to be um, shopping, like, you know, probably in a little wheelchair kind of thing. I'm um, getting really jealous yeah. thinking about you at Rhinebeck. Um, but I'm just going to go for Saturday. That's it. Yeah. I'm the, For the festival. I'm not going to do any of the other events. I'm just going to see how I do. And that's going to be that. I think Jesus, um, Jessica, there was one more person in my list that I was like, yes, these people, these are my people that have invited me to like hang out and be chill. And I was like, okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, you can do it. I'm gonna be fine. Um, so, but we're gonna go to, we're gonna fly into Buffalo. We're gonna go to Niagara Falls first thing. Then it's a five hour drive from Buffalo to Rhinebeck. So we're gonna rent a car, go to Rhinebeck. And then we're gonna be there just the Saturday. Yeah. I was gonna go down to Brooklyn to see my friend Ruby, but I can't because it's too, too much time away. It's all during the week that we're doing this, right? And then, um, so Saturday is the festival and then Sunday we're driving to um, Hartford, Connecticut because it's only two hours and we're going home from Hartford. So. I'm really sad. I know I won't be able to do our yarn crawl though. I'll just be going to Hartford and yeah. that's it, going home. Well, that's fair. You can't do that yeah, yarn crawl without, without me. Yeah, you. We've talked about I, that for ages. Absolutely not. We'll do our, we'll do that before you end up going to Rhinebeck. I, guarantee bet, it yeah. <laughs> but then we can go with Kevin out. and Ryan because they're yes, from Connecticut absolutely I, I'm just so freaked out I'm, yeah. I'm probably overreacting a little bit I don't know I'm just fine. so freaked out by like the festivals because it's not I'm not freaked out by the travel anymore like the plane's not the part that freaks me out that much it's just like all the people from all the different places gathering and like I just have no control over that situation and so many people in my family are sick, and like then I feel so dumb because like your mom's going. <laughs> like, not going to the festival, though. Yeah, but she's going with you, and you are, yeah. and she's fine. It's like I don't know, and yeah. it's not like my family's not traveling. I'm just yeah. It's probably a crutch that I'm leaning on because I'm afraid of the travel right now. Well, but... also you have two weddings that you're going yeah. to right it back would to back. Absolutely wear me the hell out yeah. in October. But that'd be all traveling every I'll weekend. I'll be sad. Facetime <laughs> me if you meet anyone that I want to meet. Yeah, that's everyone. and that's like fingers crossed. My mom actually goes with me because otherwise it's just gonna be me like in a hotel room by myself for days, like freaking out yeah. about doing a social thing. But um, your mom will go. She'll go because she, she really wants to go to Niagara Falls. It's on her bucket list. Yeah. So um, I had to look and make sure she didn't need a passport. I had to look and make sure that there was it was accessible for her. Yeah. She cannot walk that far, and it isn't really. There's like a whole like walking bit, there, and she's like, I don't need to do that part. And I was like, you're fine just standing at the ground level and seeing it. That's all you want to do? And she's like, yeah, I just want to see it, that it's there. And just stay and up like, in there. Yeah. And so she was like, and so I showed her like the Maid of the Mist, which is a boat that goes down. Yeah. And she's like, absolutely not. We're not getting on that boat. And I was like, you're wild. Like, we're not going there to just look at a waterfall from like 60 feet away. I don't she know. Is. <laughs> yeah, that's all she wants to do. So I was like, oh, I'm going to do at least the Cave of the Mist, which is the walk up. Mm -hmm. um, and then she's she might do it depending on how bad it is, but it's not very accessible. And yeah, yeah. And then they have a light show on it at night. And cool. she's like, I'll do that. We can go down and see that. She's like, or we could book somewhere where we can see it from like our hotel. And I was like, I don't know. Like, okay, like you, it's it's your trip, lady. Yeah, but it's that one. And um, 
Mount Rushmore are two of her bucket list items that I'm like, we're gonna do that. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's so. really fun. So yeah, those are my two Yarny trips, That's hopefully. That's really exciting. I haven't told Lindsay that I'll go yet, but I'm gonna go, I think. Yeah, she was asking me about it, and I was like, I don't know, she, you travel so much for work. I was like, I don't yeah. know if she can that weekend. I know. But I was like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm worried about in October is that's usually our shareholders meeting. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, DFW will be fun. Yeah. Um, I'll find the names of the, the hot pot and the Korean barbecue places that mm -hmm. Yo-Yo and I went to because they were Well, I'm, I know Jen. I know we already talked yeah. about it. So mm -hmm. Jen is like a chain and I've been there too. Yeah. So I'm, that's good. Yeah, I know that. Right. I'll go there. They don't have like lettuce cups and rice paper, but that's fine. Yeah, that's what Yo-Yo said. She's mm -hmm. like, I'll bring my own lettuce cups next time. Hilarious. <laughs> they did give us like a salad at the beginning, which you could have had the lettuce and I did like munch on that throughout yeah like, the lettucey freshness but yeah it was it's a lot of meat it was a very meat heavy week yeah <laughs> we had the first day we got in we, we had the meat checked sweats. into our hotel and then we went out and got hot pot which was so good and yo-yo's a very adventurous eater um and I'm a more adventurous eater but still like there were a few other things I was like no mm, thank you that looks gross <laughs> <laughs> what was it was it? like the tripe like the organs pork I don't do well with and... I love pork okay, belly good. um it's really just the organs, the intestines, and the tripe. Yeah, I, I don't do love. It. I do it um, anything else I ate, and it was really yummy. And I tried a couple different types of seafood that I hadn't had before, like different preparations of it that she liked. I can't remember what they were now, but that was all delicious. And then um, we had a bunch of good, we had coffee, but honestly, I did not find good coffee in Dallas. Hmm. And I've found good coffee before, but I tried new places. The like three or four coffee shops we went to in the couple days we were there, and they all sucked. So I was glad I brought my own coffee to the hotel because it was all really disappointing. Um, but then we went to Jen for Korean barbecue, and that was really good. We had like a two and a half hour wait though um, from when we got there to when they had a table ready for us. They said it was going to be an it's hour a wait. Long wait. And then, um, Thankfully, there was like shopping. We just walked, we did some shopping, then we found a boba place at two yeah. hours down. We sat, we knit. We were totally fine waiting, um, but everybody around us was getting pissed when we got down there and we're ready to be seated. But the food was delicious. And what else? There was a little bakery we went to and got some um, like How sweet bread and desserts. Sort of so. Yeah, it's just that good. was important too. Well, yeah, McKinney made her up into a bunch, and I love McKinney. Yo Yo loved it. She, we stopped at Arkansas Yarn Co on the way down because Yo Yo had never been. So Yo Yo. Got to shop around. She got a skinny yarn, which she has already cast on and is knitting another ripple bralette with. And then we went to West Seventh Wool and, excuse me, Juju Knits. West Seventh Wool was really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Their selection was really cool. And the store was laid out in a really, um, I don't know, a comforting way. Everything had a place. It wasn't like, some yarn stores can be really overwhelming for me when it's the stores where everything's like kind of piled in and like all over and baskets on the floor and you have to dig through stuff. Like that's not my favorite. Um, and that's kind of how Juju Knits was. Juju had a really good selection and Macy stocks her yarn there. And it was really cool to see all of her yarn in person. Um, but it was very much one of those stores where you felt like crowded, claustrophobic a little. I felt a little claustrophobic in it and Yo-Yo felt the same way. It was like, we didn't end up buying much. We each got like little notions cause we got really overwhelmed. We're like, I'm ready to leave here. <laughs> um, and they were just really busy too. Like yeah. it was a, I think it was Saturday when we went there and there were like 12 people in this space that comfortably probably fit six. Like, mm. and then people just kept coming in. And so that one wasn't my favorite. Um, I would go back to see Macy's yarn in person again, like as it's different collections of her yarn, but West Seventh uh, Wool, I would go back there every time I go. Like, it was beautiful. They had a phenomenal selection, a bunch of different bases, awesome notions, bags, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then McKinney, of course, is always awesome. McKinney's my favorite Dallas area yarn store for sure. They were really fun. Never been to any of those, yeah. but I, I understand what you're talking about with the crowded stores because we have one of those here. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple of those here. It's that vibe. But mm -hmm. I don't mind that as much because I feel like that for me as long as like a, it's an organic experience that's fine but there are some where it's like I'm this is my nightmare yeah um especially if there are animals in the store that drives yeah, me crazy yeah there weren't thank so <laughs> I think it was just kind of a series of unfortunate events too like we had gotten coffee before and the coffee wasn't good so I didn't drink it all so I hadn't had enough coffee I hadn't had breakfast yet it was like past lunchtime I hadn't eaten anything we had already been to West Seventh. Well, it was hot. I was tired. Like, it was just not an ideal shopping experience. So I'll go back. I'll try it again next yeah. time in Dallas for sure. Those are the ones. There are like eight yarn stores in Dallas, and those three are the ones I narrowed down from everybody messaging me and telling me like 
which stores to check out and what they all had. It was definitely, and West Seventhville and Juju Knits are 11 minutes apart. Like oh, they're really nice. close. So hit both for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. um, when you go for DFW, I'd pop in the stores if you have time to get over to them. Hmm. Um, I'll tell you which coffee shops not to go to. I don't, you know, I'm not a coffee snob at all. So you would hate them. Coffee is because coffee. Because it wasn't, no, not Oh, me. they were coffee snobs? And they were not good. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, as long as it's got sugar in it, I'm okay. It oh, was weird. Weird. It was very weird. And they only had magic milk. I had they the didn't offer oat or soy or anything. They called what it. What is magic? Milk? I don't know what the fuck it is. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> I think that sounds disgusting. It made me mad. Magic? I'm like, what is <laughs> happening? And there was like no seat. I'm not gonna bash this coffee shop. Uh. But there was like no seating inside. I and think you could figure out what one it is by magic milk. That's gotta be a lone. I didn't even Google it. I didn't want to know. We had to park forever Texas. away. It was hot. There weren't any tables, so we had to sit outside. Magic milk. We got sausage rolls that were really gross and my avocado toast, but avocado toast was really good. It was expensive. I'm gonna call this episode magic milk. Don't. <laughs> no. I shouldn't have said it. Shouldn't That's have disgusting. Anyway. I would never put anything called magic milk in my mouth. I don't care. No. And then we went through another one that was a drive through and it was really cute and they were really nice, but the coffee was not good. Mm. So that was another letdown. And that was like a big one that people recommended to me. So I'm gonna red flag those people in my life. Like, don't recommend that shit to me. <laughs> That's what you think is good coffee? I'm kidding. <laughs> That's but rough. I think, I don't know. Magic milk. I've had a weird month. So I think I'm in a particularly negative mindset. Yeah. Well, no, I magic milk really brought me down. Thank you. A couple exactly. notches. Not um, that's horrible. And yo-yo's drink is like in an iced americano with cream. Like it's hard to mess yeah. it up. That's like a tried and true. Your coffee has to be really bad for your americanos to be bad. I Especially feel like she adds some cream, so like yeah. it has a little wiggle. Like it's just a plain americano. That's my test of a coffee shop. And I didn't do that because just walking in, the vibe. I knew I wasn't gonna like their americanos because you have to have really good coffee for that. No. Not no, there. not See, I, like that's why I, it, that's easy for me. I just get if it has lots of sugar, I'm happy. No, um, I think weird. I'm just a sugar fan. I don't really even need. And that's coffee. fair. <laughs> I, I am fully aware I'm a coffee snob, and the thing is that like I don't mind if I'm at like a restaurant, a diner. Like I'll drink a cup of coffee at Waffle House. I do not care. I think it's the expectation that changes it for me. Like a diner or a restaurant where I'm ordering a cup of coffee with my meal, I know that's not gonna be high class coffee. I just want a cup of black coffee and I'll drink anything, I don't care. When I'm at a shop that's that's advertising to me specialty coffee, like, and acts like they know what they're doing and then they serve me shitty coffee, that's mm -hmm. annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, just tell me that, I'll order a black cup of coffee anywhere and drink it and be happy. I'll get gas station coffee, it's coffee. Like, I do not care, but if I'm paying, for specialty coffee, don't make your coffee suck. And don't like, call it magic milk, ever. <sighs> ever It's in not life. hard. Do not call it anything magic just, milk. <laughs> <laughs> I've never used the phrase before. It's not, like just don't let your coffee go bitter. Drink yeah. it, like roast your coffee and serve it faster. Don't let it sit there for weeks, cause then it's gross. What are you, it's, it's that simple, it's just time. That's all it is, it's just time management. Get better, sorry. Sorry. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for knitting then, yeah. right? So now we're going to talk about <laughs> regular life. That's it. Bye, people who yes. are just casual listeners. Yes. Hello, mm -hmm. deep friendship. Sorry you had to stick around for my a little bit of coffee, coffee. rent. That's okay. I'll keep going. I feel like most people who like knitting like at least coffee or tea. Yeah. You know? Um, okay, life stuff. You went to Dallas. It was great for the most yes. part. Obviously bad coffee, magic milk. I brought my own coffee, so I was fine. I didn't go back to the hotel room to make it. Then, then what? You came home. We hung out, right? Yeah, we feel like out. we did. We, we do. We, Have we hung out? Starbucks hanging out? We did it at Starbucks twice, once or twice. Yeah. What else happened? Uh, this week has been, it's been wild a lot, these past two weeks. So on the saga of my dog, I don't know how much I've talked about her. Um, a, a very quick recap. She had a seizure like a month ago. We had a bunch of testing done. Our vet told us it could be a lot of things. It could be cancer. Um, and you should get a CT. We get a CT. We pay a lot of money for that. We have a specialist come in. There's only one specialist in Arkansas who can do internal medicine CT scans. He comes, he does the scan. I, my vet, vet talked about the results with me. I don't understand why my vet called me with results when he wasn't even qualified to do the CT, why I didn't immediately talk to the specialist, but that was my bad. So my vet tells me, it's probably not cancer, we didn't see anything. Um, and I'm like, so excited, happy, we all celebrate. 
yay. Then I talked to the specialist who's like, excuse me, it's definitely cancer. It has to be cancer because the test that my vet was like could be cancer. The specialist says that's never not been cancer. Let me email you some studies to back this up. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So the whiplash there was very annoying and I lost some faith in my vet and I'm trying to recover that because I've loved my vet for a long time and they've been really good to me. Half of it was my bad for listening to my vet when they initially told me I needed to see a specialist. I should have listened to that specialist and not talked to my vet about it. Anyway. I'm pretty I'm not the vet. Oh, I was just, <laughs> just mentioning. My daughter yeah, has yeah. cancer. She has an ancillonoma on her pancreas. She has to have surgery. And I have been leaving voicemails for the surgery center in Arkansas, in, in the Arkansas Surgery Center in Little Rock, for two weeks. And they haven't answered. And all their voicemails say they answer within 24 to 48 hours. And I yelled at a lady on Friday. And I'm going to call and yell some more on Monday if they don't call me and get me a freaking appointment for a consult. So I can give... I've already paid $1,000 for a CT scan that they required for the consult. So, so I'm just mad. My dog, thank God, he, the vets, the specialist, not my vet, the specialist said that it, he didn't see a mass on the CT scans, um, but the test we did prove beyond the shadow of a doubt, it is an insulinoma that causes the lab results or whatever. But because he didn't see anything, he said that's very small and definitely operable. Like they can get in there, they can remove it, she'll be fine. I just need the surgery center to call me back so I can take a loan to pay for the surgery. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's my rant about my dog. So that's just been overwhelming. That's been a lot over the last couple of weeks, but it's gonna get taken care of. I'm just, I was being too nice because they made a big deal about the fact that my dog had cancer and six months to live and then they're gonna dilly-dally calling me back on a life-saving surgery. No, thank you. I'll now be talking to you once an hour until I'm on your calendar. So that'll be fun on Monday. That's like I'm off work too. So that's my whole day Monday. I think I'm going to drive up there and talk to them. That'll be fun too. Um, and cause a problem. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they started it. What else has happened? So I went to Dallas. That was lovely. That was a very relaxing trip. It was nice. I drove a lot um, to give my wrist a break. Came home. Wednesday we went to Memphis, which was also fun. My cousin Jesse owns a food truck in Memphis, New Wing Order, and they recently um, also opened a brick and mortar on Beale, which is so exciting. So he um, went in with Ghost River Brewery on Beale Street in Memphis, and now the brewery also serves his food, which is really cool. So we went to his brewery and there was live music and we had wings and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. And that was great. And then we went and saw To Kill a Mockingbird. And that was amazing. I've read that book many, many times. I feel like everyone has read that book. But something about that play versus reading it, 10 times better. Like, it was... Ugh. Well, when you read something that should be a play, um, it's difficult. Yeah. It's boring. Was it supposed to be a play? I thought I it was I don't think it was. First. No, it's just a novel. But, like, I mean, the even the movie was just really, really good. Yeah. The just book seeing it in person, it's through. just more... It was very touching. It was very emotional. It was thought provoking. It was really good. I knit a lot. Obviously, I showed you my muscle bag, but then I cried a lot, a lot. Me and my dad and my brother all did just sobbing. And um, it was phenomenal. So that was a really good experience. We did get home very late. That was Wednesday. We got home at like 2 a.m. And then Thursday morning, um, I didn't come into work till like 10. I was just like, Pff, I'll wake up when I wake up because I was out so late. And then um, yesterday, my little brother moved into school. So I drove down um, and brought a bunch of stuff and helped him get unpacked and, and clean up his dorm and settle in. And that was really lovely and kind of sad because that's my youngest brother. Um, but he seems to be loving it so far. And I'm really excited. <laughs> the one day he's yeah. down there, he loves it. He's very excited. <laughs> it's, it's an exciting yeah, one day. That's exciting. Um, it's an exciting big, part of life. Yeah. It is, and he was already friends with his roommate. They went to school together in middle school, and he's a good guy, and he has like, it's a sweet setup, so he has his roommate, and then there's like, you walk in the front door and there's like an entryway, and then there's the two dorms that have like locking doors, and then there's a bathroom. So he only has to share his bathroom with three other people, um, which is much nicer than my dorm setup was. Yeah. Ours was like Same. one bathroom per hall, um, mm -hmm. or per floor. So but it was like a multi-stall bathroom, right? With yeah. multiple showers and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I didn't it like was that Ours had a bathtub. I always thought that was Ew. disgusting. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. Nobody used it. No. I never saw anybody use it, but there was a full ass bathtub. I guess maybe if it's like a, like a handicap situation. But we were not on the first floor. The handicap rooms were all on the first floor. I think they had a bathtub. But why was there a bathtub on the second like, floor? I don't know. Like you broke a leg or you need some other sort of like disability. I don't know. bathtub I don't know. I don't grosses know. me out. I still think about it all the time. I don't know if that's worse than magic milk or better. Worse, probably. 
I would rather you need this communal bathtub than magic milk. Ew. They're mm. both gross. Anyway, so it was really good. It's just been like emotional. There were a lot of feelings. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and then and then yesterday on my way home, I stopped in this coffee shop that I love, Nova Joe's in Searcy, and they do coffee and chicken, which is like the best combo. <laughs> and their fries are always an amazing. They're like I can't even describe them. They're like these little boats. They do like potato wedges, but then they hollow out the center and they're so good. Mm -hmm. The shape of them is amazing. They I went yesterday, my chicken was burnt, my coffee tasted burnt, and they changed their fries. So they weren't even my fried boats. No boats? I texted my dad and I was like, I came here for taco fries and I didn't get them. Where's my boats? And then my chicken was burnt and I didn't even eat it all. And then I was sad and then my coffee was bad. And I was like, why can I not get a good cup of coffee anywhere? Anywhere I go ever. Burn it down. So Burn it I was just all sad. down. So yeah, that was kind of my rant. I can't think of anything else that really happened in my life. We um, had yarn night. Knit, knit oh night. yeah. That um, was fun. Yes, we had knit night last night and that was really fun. Was that last night? Two nights, Two ago. nights ago. Yeah. I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> Two nights ago. That was really good. Um, we had a cheese board. I think there were like 20 people here. Yeah, we had like yeah a couple of dozen probably. So it was really good. I missed that. We missed last month because yeah, our regular... Well. And uh, knit night was the same weekend as the yarn crawl, so we skipped a month. Um, and it was good to be back with everyone. We had a couple new people and lots my mom of our regulars. Came. Yes, I love when Patty comes. And my mom and Yo-Yo were just talking. My mom was dying. She's like, Yo-Yo is so funny. And I was like, I oh, told you. She is. She's <laughs> the best. I love her. Um, um, so that was really fun. And my oldest brother, I think I mentioned too, he was getting some, a new PET scan at the last, and the results came back, and he's all good. So. Good. Yay. No cancer in his chest. Oh. Um, Did they know what it was? Is it the it is Something. Is it the seedlings? I don't remember what it is. He texted me. Hold on. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna find it. Right now. Yeah. It is some the. It's something. They don't know exactly what yet. Um, they know it's not cancerous, but the worst case scenario is just like a daily steroid he would have to take for whatever it is. So that's better mm -hmm. than radiation again, because we definitely don't want to do that again. My husband, when he was in an accident, he um had like bruised his ribs, yeah. so they did a whole CT on his chest. And um, they came back with spots in his lungs. And I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. But I was like, at least we know that, you know, like from this accident, like we would not know he's yeah. not a smoker. There's no reason for anything you to be there. You don't get regular CT scans. No, and we were 26, something like that, you know? And so um, he was like, okay, like they did a little biopsy thing when he was in the hospital. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm doing yeah, like this. This is so scary. For Nick, that's what they did. They yeah. did like a tube down the yeah. throat. And, and it turned out that it. it was something that's very common in Arkansas, which is like that seed seedlings get into your lungs. You breathe them in with the pollen and they like attach to your lung walls and like just kind of start to sprout a little bit in there. And I was like, that's normal? And he's like, yeah, at least I don't have to do anything for it. And I was like, you're growing trees in your lungs, like legitimately. Um, and apparently that's the thing that happens here. It's not here. seedlings, it's something else. I yeah. just checked, but mm -hmm. seedlings would be freaky. Too. It was weird. Yeah, it really freaked me out, but you know, nothing ever came of that. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, my life. Yeah, what's up with your <laughs> My life. life. Your turn. <laughs> I ranted. Um, I was very lonely when you were gone, I think. I don't really remember. Um, I bet I was, though. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I was. I don't know. Um, my mom has been going through it. She had to have iron infusions. Um, she's pretty severely anemic because yeah. of all her treatments and stuff. But also, we're just anemic, hence why I yeah. have all of the bruises that I have all the time, and I'm pale, and you know, um, they they our insurance did not pay for the good iron, so she had to get bad iron lower dosages more often that's stupid. so instead of having just two infusions she had a five that's and stupid right and it's like monday wednesday friday monday wednesday is when she's so wednesday's her last infusion of iron and then on thursday she goes in for her um immunotherapy and steroids and benadryl and all that and she wasn't given steroids with this so i got a call randomly in the middle of the day saying they're not going to give me steroids and i'm feeling really tired i'm like can you come get me? And I was like, okay, well, you have your car in Little Rock at Infusion. I'm at lunch right now. Jana could take me to Little Rock. So she did. And I drove with my mom that I didn't have a car and it was the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, because I picked you up when you started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so about that time, I started getting like really like a sore throat. And I was like, shit, like something's wrong. And I like looked in the mirror and I saw my tonsils were huge, like the size of like golf balls in the back mm -hmm. of my throat. And I was like, I'm gonna not be able to breathe. So I was gargling with salt. I have tonsillitis all the time. I 
huge tonsils in general and they won't take them out which is annoying that's, but that's <laughs> I'm used to it so I have a whole thing I get like the lozenges I do that and the next day I woke up and it was worse so I ended up going it was Friday I ended up going yeah. to um the urgent care and the doctor was like damn those things are big yeah like, that was last Friday right thank you before, yeah yes. mm -hmm. I was like thanks <laughs> Let's yeah, but I was just like, surely this is COVID. Like, surely I have COVID again, and I'm about to have my cousin and a baby at my house. And I was just like, no, this is bad. But I got tested for COVID. I got tested for strep. I got tested for the flu, and I had nothing. They're like, it's just tonsillitis. So I got my um, antibiotics. You did your, your routine. I was fine. And so by Saturday, when my cousin got there, everything was fine. My cousin came from L.A. Her mom was going to... A wedding. She's 38. She should be able to take care of her baby on her own, but she cannot. Um, New and babies her, are hard no matter how old you are. Her mom was really, really stressed out about it. My aunt, she was terrified that something was going to happen. So she was like, can I please send her alone with a five-week-old baby to, to Arkansas on a plane? Five-week-old baby. And, um, and then you guys can just watch her until I get back from this, like, four-day-long, huge wedding ceremony thing that's, like, a couple hours away and she couldn't handle all of that and we we're like absolutely bring it on I haven't seen my cousin in 15 years yeah and um so I was super excited I love babies and it was great but I was terrified I was gonna get the baby sick so that's why I took care of all that yeah baby comes love baby here's a picture she's so cute <laughs> Hello, baby. I basically was a mom for a week <laughs> it was were, great yeah she, she came in on Monday. Saturday and they left on Wednesday. I now left I know too. when I have a baby, you'll co-mom with me. I will for the absolutely. First five weeks. And anytime you need a break, I, I'm a baby whisperer too, like for infants. I, I don't really that. do well when they're See, older. See, this is what we were talking about though. I was like, that's what I need because the infant part is what holds me back from having yeah. a baby. I'm like, I want a baby so bad right now, but I don't want a baby. I want a toddler. Yeah. Like, I want to birth it and then I want someone it's else to have it for nine months and then I'll take it back. Like, yeah. I love babies. Baby babies, like when they can't do anything and they're just chill and all they need is to like eat or sleep like that's that's the best so um my cousin was exhausted she got off the plane she didn't feel good anymore she had had trauma on the plane dropped the baby on the plane the baby's okay baby's fine baby was absolutely fine they're babies you know like they're so and she was sitting down so it just kind of rolled down her leg onto the ground <sighs> but that is traumatizing you know new mom new baby <laughs> terrifying already so, overwhelmed yeah so plane. she gets off the plane and she is pissed panicking my mom's like this is crazy but then we have this little baby and it was so cute and um and her name was Riley and she's so sweet and I just loved her it was it was the best but my cousin the whole week she was here was just talking about the plane ride and how traumatizing it was and how she cannot believe it and they're trying to figure out a different way for her to get home they're gonna my aunt's gonna fly out they're gonna rent a car and drive I was like 24 hours in the car with God. a five-week-old infant that's not gonna be any better no, you know worse. so I like was up with the baby every three hours, feeding the baby, doing all Mama that Kristen. stuff. Yeah, Mama christening. I was like, I'm not letting you go on the plane by yourself. So I booked a flight. <laughs> we we both went out there Wednesday morning to LA, flew out to LA. I carried the baby the whole time. She did not make a peep. She was perfect. I changed her on the plane. I fed her in the airport. We were, it was a great trip. Um, we get to LA, it's like three o'clock. My next plane home is midnight. <laughs> so I got five hours of hanging out with my aunt, talking to my cousins. I got to see like all of my cousins. It was not all of them, but the yeah, ones but that are around see. that age. And then um, they j I just Ubered back to the airport. I got a cheeseburger and some, um, some fried green beans. I really wanted Chinese food, but the place was closed. So oh, the guy bummer. just took me to the next place near it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get um, this Habit burger. And it was good. And then, um, I just Ubered back to the airport and I got to knit. That's where I finished my shawl. Well, you got yourself a start. LA Starbucks cup? Got myself a Los Angeles <laughs> Starbucks cup. That was all. I went there for one she dr cup. She flew there for a burger and a Starbucks yeah. cup. It was so quick. It I was it. crazy. And I was just like talking to them. I was like, I don't mind airports. I don't mind flying. It's not a big no, deal for me. For but they were just like, that is crazy. Who would do that? You're nuts. And I was like... Um, it's for a baby. She went, She didn't want to go alone. Yeah, she was panicked. She she was not going to have a good flight. Yeah. And so, and she took drama means, so she was asleep. Good. She both had to rest. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, and she had taken him on the first flight, too, because mm -hmm. otherwise she'd be throwing up in a bag over her baby. Mm -hmm. So, it was easy. I was Yikes. like, I could do this. I could be a baby escort. No, that's weird. A, a baby escorter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
could be an escorter of babies. I could be a baby bringer. A nanny. No, like for travel. If, like you need to, if you need to ship your baby over, I could go with your baby. And it would be fine. For an adoption agency. I, yeah, something like that. Or like, you know, people who split custody and stuff. Like, Don't I could use do that any easily. form of the word escort. Escort baby. Stop. <laughs> Is this week uh, magic milk or baby escort? Neither. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> if you name it after that, I will log in and change My it. My phone is going off. I yeah. don't know why I have so many notifications. Our but. group chat was going off, <gasps> but it wasn't relevant stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I had so much fun with the baby though. Loved that. Escorting the it baby. Was, it was so fun. And then yeah, I got home and I was like, I finished that shawl. I started feeling like relief all of a sudden. Yes. I feel like it's been a really big build up all month of just like, okay, okay, like mm -hmm. here we go, here we go, here yeah, we go. Yeah, all these like, things about to happen. It's just all like eased yeah it felt better i felt that yesterday mm -hmm. after everything i got home i had an emotional day yesterday on my way home from um dropping my brother off at school i stopped my um childhood best friend's mom passed away five years ago and she's buried kind of between where my little brother's in school and here so i stopped and visited her I tried to do that a few times a year and it was just like emotional like there's a lot going on so then stopping and and being there was a lot of emotion the kind of emotion where I was just like a whole body drained and like exhausted mm -hmm. and just achy and all that stuff from crying all day long <laughs> pretty much. But um, it was good still. I mean, I love going and, and bringing flowers and all that, that whole thing. Um, but I, I swear I got home, I walked my dog and then I just turned off my alarms and laid in my bed and I slept so good and I needed it. like. And I slept long. I was in bed till like 10.30 today, which is <laughs> very late for me. And then I just, I feel better. Like it is, it's just relief. Like yeah. I got through all that stuff. I experienced it all. I handled it all well. I was there for everybody who needed me to be there for them this month. And somehow it's already August 21st and I feel like it's still August 1st. Like the last three weeks have flown, but I did it. I did all the trips and now I'm set. I don't have anything going on until mid-October. You just gotta do a little refresh. Except I do. I mean, we have big life stuff happening in mm -hmm. September too, but... It's fine. I'll survive it all. I just, a few days of relief will be nice. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it's been. I just feel like the last, like, since delivering the baby home, she's safe. Since I get delivering pictures. the baby. <laughs> yeah. Since I delivered the baby, everything's been so She sent us a picture good. to the group chat the first day the baby got there, and she's like, I'm with child. I'm and with like, child. What? Yeah, I said I'm with the child, I think, but I, maybe, I don't know. I don't think you did. I yeah. think you said I'm with child. I was probably texting with my teeth, holding a baby, you know, like... <laughs> It was yes, I do. I loved the baby. You delivered it your baby. did make me really, really want a baby. And then Same. I'm like, I don't want a baby. I Same. don't want a baby. I don't want to be a mom. I just want to be a nanny. I do yeah. love being a nanny. Yeah. I could be a really good nanny, but you're I don't really, want to be a mom. You're really good Auntie Kristen. I don't want to have to make those big decisions. No, that's you know? a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't want to like fuck up a child internally. That's <laughs> scary. I feel like no problems. Like I know that I would not mess up a child physically. Like I would be no. a really yeah. good you know, carer, mm -hmm. but take caretaker. There we go. Carer. <laughs> but I, I don't want to like give the psychological damage that I know you don't I would parent a child. No, that's scary. Mm -mm. I that is terrifying. It's a, it's big. It's overwhelming. So, There's a lot. Kudos to you parents. <laughs> Y'all I swear. <laughs> Not mine though. Just kidding. Mine are fine. <laughs> My mom's, <Tea>. yeah. <laughs> My mom's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man yeah yeah no I get that for sure the idea of having a child is overwhelming and like you get to that age like I'm at that age where like everybody expects have me school. to have a child yeah my brother wants four he already has three they want another oh okay like, well no they're fine they can have insane. another you're is, insane. is his wife down with that yeah they both okay, want Gabby? another good job Gabs that's a lot of kids I feel like she's fine they got it that's they figured it out they've got like it down packed they need, you need to have even it. numbers even numbers is important no. It is important that you need to, them to pair off and battle because me and my sisters were mean to each other when yeah. we would pair off and Might then there's two. one, you know? But in a talk, it's like one or two. Two. Okay. One or two is good. Once you get to three, you have to have four. I don't you know. can't I have think... three kids. It's bad. I don't know. Coming from three sisters. That's fair. Terrible. There's, I mean. Poor Brittany, my youngest sister. Poor thing. I guess we are an even number. I was trying to think. Like, How many siblings do I have? <laughs> six. There are yeah. six of us. <laughs> I have five brothers. But um, that way, everybody has a friend, yeah, and it's not like just good. two against one, which is two against one all the time. I feel like we were just, and it was me and one we sister against, against the other one, sister. Right? I would always pair up. We were even numbers, but we still—it <laughs> was all of us against Nate all the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
start in it. <laughs> yeah, so that's what he gets for being the baby. For being the youngest, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Gosh, and now we're all grown, hop on our own. It's so weird. Ugh. Yeah, but the idea of having children is terrifying, and like everyone expects that. It's a no it would be normal. Buddy and I have been married for four years. Is that right? Yeah, four years. And we're like a normal age to have children. Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not. He's late for our children. Yeah. <laughs> right? No. I'm 25. He's 28. Children? Yeah. No. Hey, my parents at that age had three. I know. That's my nice. parents had two. Why? They had me and Malachi yeah. when they were my age. All of Maybe us. Ben, too. I think we're Ben was done. cooking. Ugh. Ugh. I just can't imagine. Imagine. Mm -mm. That's crazy. I think about it all the time. I know. My sisters have four and five. <laughs> I don't know. Over here, like, I don't want to be a mom. I know. That's crazy. Oh, That's crazy. Mom. Weird. But I would hold your baby for hours, and it would not bother me. I would fly your baby across the country, and it would not cry. I, I think that off. I would. I think I was very lucky that that happened. Yeah, but that was impressive. My cousin made fun of us because, like, at one point, like, I got up to go change the baby, and then there were two other moms with infants on the plane, and they both got up to change the baby, and she was like, I guess it's just baby changing time. And yeah. I was like, you don't know that halfway through the plane you change your baby? <laughs> yeah. That's what you do. You get up and change the baby. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. I love it. Goodness, we just rambled about babies for a long time. Mm hmm but it's good because this was a short episode. It was. It's what fine. else has gone on? I feel like we're good. I feel yeah. like we're going to do the giveaway, leave a comment yes, or something. comment something crazy yeah. that we've said. I feel that like it's just going to be all magic is. milk. <laughs> <laughs> Try and not use that one. <laughs> Try not to say magic milk <laughs> ever like to anyone. I 40 episodes, wrong. we said some funny stuff. Some stuff. We've said some stuff for sure. We're pretty hilarious. Oh, I, feel, I really I feel ready to have Texas Toast, toast house. house. Texas, Texas Toast House. house. <laughs> she was snapchatting me earlier we were making our plan for the day and it was like podcast get boba go to she was like go to texas texas, texas toast, toast house texas texas toast. she like muttered for a while and then she goes she goes chicken chicken and bread and i was like yes <laughs> texas red house because <laughs> i was like texas toast texas toast texas toast so. She's having a stroke. Yeah, I could not figure it, it was out. It's hilarious. But like the moment she said Texas, I was like, yeah, Texas Red House. Let's Chicken go. and bread. Chicken and bread. That's, That's what where I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You guys want some too? Come along. No, just kidding. We're not going to do that. Anyway. They can, they're can. they not going to know for like three days. How would they know? True. Are we just vlogging the whole time? We're yeah. Keep recording? That's what I was thinking. We'd vlog it. No, yeah. we're not going to vlog it. We're just it. never going to stop. You can, can watch we're... our personal vlogs if yeah, you want to. It online. might be there. It might. A little bit of it. Yeah. At least a picture of our food. Anyway, exactly. are we done? This is crazy. Yeah. Rambly. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> we just wanted to say thank you so much thank you guys for being best. here on our journey. On our journey. Our to journey. Texas Toast House. Uh, we love you and goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye. <laughs> yeah. um, I can just put on your lap if you drive. That's how I want it, but <laughs> no. Um, probably not for the best. Kristen. <laughs> I'm not leaving that one in. That one's going right out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go into whips. Let's do it. Hose, hose. Whips, hose, hose. I don't even have any hose. Hey, hey. No hose. Ho I got a hoe in this house. You got a hoe in this house. A hoe's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs>